This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. It sure is great having you join me here in these online lessons. This is lesson 20 in this mini course that's all about flat picking. So fun. In this lesson, we're going to continue to build on what we've done in the last few lessons with inserting walking bass lines or bass note runs between the different chords. That's this lesson we're going to be doing that with C and F, especially we'll just to touch on G7 just a teeny bit, but mostly we're working on C and F in this lesson. We're going to continue to use the bass down up, alternate bass down up, strumming pattern. If this is the first lesson you're jumping into and you don't know how to do this yet, check out lessons 14 and 15 where I go over how to do that with these chords. So you want to check out that. I'm not going to go over that here. We're going to go in right to those bass note runs. So it's going to be great. In this lesson, we're going to be using the song Will the Circle Be Unbroken. I have the chord progression up here on the board, but down in the description below there's a link. You can download a free copy of the sheet music in PDF format. You probably want to do that so you can play right along. All right, let's jump in. We've worked in the last lesson with the C chord and how we can approach it, but I'm going to review it here. So with all of these chords, for the most part, we can approach them from above or below, and we're using scale tones. So with the C chord, if we start on the third of the chord, which is E, and then we go to the D, and then we come to C, we've got three, two, one, right from the major scale, right from the C major scale. So two, open, and then three. Those are the frets. On that fourth string, second fret, and then the open string, and then down to that third fret of the fifth string will give us a walk to C. Two, open, C, which has the third, the second, and the root. So you can just practice that. Now this should be a review if you've done the previous lessons. Approach it from above the chord, we can also approach it from below the chord. So from below we're going to start on step 6 which is the open A string, then we're going to go to step 7 which is the B at the 2nd fret and then we're up to the C. So 6, 7, root, which is open, 2nd fret, 3rd fret on that 5th string. So. play going to C. Let's look at going to F. So F works the same way actually. We're just on, everything's on a higher string. Now in this style we most often use the top four strings. So the four string F chord instead of like the full on six string. You could use a six string but here in this song, in this chord progression, we're just going to use that four string. Now, in approaching F, that would put us on the third string with the third of the chord, which is the A, second fret, third string to the open, uh, third string, which is a G, step two, and then down to that root. Now, it's so high, this one probably is rarely used, but it is a possibility. So it's, it's good to know it's there. You never know when you may need it. That's what I always say. Often we approach F from below with step six, seven, and then up to that root. So the D, the open D, the open fourth string to the second fret, which is the E, so step seven of the F scale, and then up to the F. So we got up to F. Open two, three on that fourth string. And you want to practice that one a little bit. That one's new. We haven't done these ones with F before. C and F, which we have to do in our chord progression when we get to that. We The ones that get commonly used is the walk up to F and then the walk back down to C. So from C, 
The way this works is with the chord progression, or with the strumming pattern in a given chord progression, is the measure right before the chord change is where we're going to insert the walk. We're going to do bass down up with the strumming pattern on the current chord, and then on beats three and four, instead of the alternate bass down up, we insert the little walk, six, seven, up to the, the root of the new chord, or three, two, down to the root of the new chord, goes right on beats three and four. So, if I went C, and did a measure of it, and then I was going to walk to F, I would have C, up to F. I would go bass, down, up, up to F. If I insert two measures of C, I would have C, up to F. Just that. Practice that with me, if you're not already. Just get comfortable doing that. So I'd have C, to F. So C, up to F. That's the most common way that that happens. It just works so well. In going back to C from F, we do it in reverse. We're going to go the third of C to the second of C in that C major scale down to that root. So two, open, three on the fifth string. But two and open are on the fourth string and the rhythm. So F, back to C. So if you did F, back to C, F, back to C, F, back to C, F, back to C. So if we go back and forth putting two measures of each chord at a time, we'd have C, up to F. Okay, so if we were going to go to G7 in this one, and we're going to work on G7 more in the next lesson, but we've got this place in this particular progression where we can walk from C down to G7, and we're just going to look at that real quick. So from C, we got the C down to G7, it works really well to take the third of the G7 chord, which is the B, second fret of that fifth string, to the open A, which would be step two down to the G. So C. Going back to C if you wanted to, it's only one measure so you wouldn't have to, but if you wanted to, it goes the opposite direction. So we can approach C from below, step 6, step 7, up to that root. So the open 5th string, 2nd fret of the 5th string, up to that. So we'd have G7, up to C, G7, up to C. And if we go back and forth between C and G7, giving each one two measures, we'd have C. song any and any song but this song that we're going to practice with the chord progression here and if you haven't downloaded that sheet music you can right down in the description below there's a link click on it free copy of the sheet music in pdf pdf format so four measures of c then we have two measures of f two measures of c four more measures of c on the next line c g7 c and c so two measures of c 
When we have at least two measures of a chord, as we were just doing in that little exercise, it's an easy place to insert a bass note run. So we always insert the run on beats three and four, right in the measure that happens before where the new chord happens. So we're going to insert it here in measure four with that C chord walking to the F. And then we can insert one in this measure with F going back to C. And then we can insert one in this measure going up to G7. And if we want to, now when we only have one chord per measure, it comes pretty fast. We really don't need to insert a bass note run if, if we don't want to. But if we want to, we can. We can go bass down up and then walk back to C. Okay, let's try it with Will the Circle Be Unbroken. We're going to be about there. So we're going to one, a two, I want to will the circle. like I just did is to do the one chord to the five chord to the one. So in the case of this song, C to the G7 back to C. You can also sometimes do it with the four chords. So I could go C, F, C. But in this one, I did G7. Okay, that was fun. I think it was fun. Let's take it a little bit faster. So we'll go back here. One, two. I want to will the sun. I could take it even faster, it was just kind of fun to go by here. See that? One, two, I want to wheel the circle. Okay, now we haven't done this song yet before in this mini course, so I'm going to go ahead and play the melody. If you've been doing this mini course all along, you know that when we've got a melody, we've been playing them in preparation for later in the course, we're going to be working on the solos and the melodic content with flat picking. So we're doing it with these simple melodies to kind of get used to that for when we get into the more challenging stuff. Now, in the sheet music, the melody is written in both standard music notation and tablature, as I've mentioned in previous lessons, but in case this is the first lesson you're jumping into, that if you don't know how to read tablature or standard music notation, check out the quick answer video on reading tablature and that'll get you going. There's also books in the method book series. So there's the tablature book and there's the note reading books that'll help you master reading tablature and note reading and there's lots of video lessons and songs that go with those. So that's a, a way to get help. I'm going to assume you already know how. This one is all quarter notes and half notes, uh, dotted half notes, whole notes and so on. So instead of worrying about down plucks on the notes that are on the beat and up plucks on the ones in between the beat. I'm actually going to do where I'm going to do down plucks on beats one and three and up plucks on beats two and four when there's quarter notes. If I have a whole bunch of half notes back to back, I could actually do down plucks with the half note on beat one and then up plucks on beat three, that sort of thing. But I go ahead and play this melody. So I'm going to give us one, two, and we'll be in. Just like that. One, two. Okay, now at that tempo, if you did down plucks back to back, it's really not going to matter. But when we're doing lots of eighth notes and sixteenth notes later, it will. So, you can practice with it different ways. Hope you're having a blast. I sure love playing this kind of music. It's so fun. 
in the next lesson. So in lesson 21, we're going to work more with these chords uh, with a greater focus on G7. So it's going to be great. Take care. I'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.